I am overwhelmed with the joy um, that my children have access to these opportunities. Parents and students fighting obstacles with e-learning, struggling during the coronavirus crisis and finding the help they need tonight. The pandemic and its impact on parents and students, that's our big story. Good evening, everyone. I'm Tom Powell. And I'm Linda Jackson. Thank you for being with us. Many families have limited resources and the crisis created more barriers. And Fort Wayne's NBC reporter Louis Tran talked with leaders of an after school program who are trying to help. Louis. Linda and Tom, for some students, school is their only safe place to go to. Other families have limited resources and they're struggling to get by. One woman I talked with says this program that you mentioned didn't just help her kids, it saved her family. Since the pandemic began, vulnerable students have been hit hard. Educated. Meet YMCA District Executive Director Amos Norman. He says many students come from families with limited resources. Some do not have a safe home to go to, and others do not have a support system they can rely on. Norman says the pandemic enhanced these issues. Our kids need us more than anything. And they need to know that there's people that believe in them and that, that aren't going to let them fail. Yeah, that's good. Though. So and the YMCA, City Life Center, and the Boys and Girls Club are stepping in. All three places are hosting an after-school program, giving students a safe place to study, plus helping them with their mental health. They know that they have purpose, that they can live a life of value, uh, that they can live out a life more abundantly to the, to, to the full. It's about getting kids in community with teachers so that we can actually meet their needs. Huge help. Candace Bradley is a single mother of four. She says two of her kids are in the program. If it were not for City Life, there are many days where I don't know what we would have done. Bradley says she was furloughed for a few months and her son has health problems. It's been like running in circles some days. It is. It has truly been scary. She says the after school program is keeping her kids future alive, especially during the pandemic as he uses e-learning. She encourages other families who may be struggling to reach out for help. Don't go through this alone. Do not suffer in silence. You don't have to. The resources in our community for you and your children are here. In addition to the after school help, they're also helping students who fell behind last year because of the pandemic and lost credits. Now for more information about this program, I'll have details in this story on FortWayne'sNBC.com. Plus, organizers say they welcome all students who need help.